animals have certain rights, as inalienable as those of man, to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. These are the words of Carolyn Earl White, founder of the Women's Humane Society. In April of 1869, some 50 years before women obtained the right to vote, Mrs. White and her contemporaries formed the Women's Humane Society to focus on the mistreatment of carriage horses in the city of Philadelphia. As you can imagine, in the late 1800s, the treatment of animals was not a popular conversation because animals were used for more industrial purposes. People didn't view animals as pets the same way we do today, and inhumane treatment of animals was commonplace. But a small group of extraordinary women raised their voices to make a difference in animal cruelty and would not stop until they were heard. Mrs. White and her fellow advocates quickly shifted their efforts to small animals, and within the year, they established the first animal shelter in the country where animals could be returned to owners or rehomed. Believing that education was the best weapon against animal abuse, in 1874, Carolyn Earl White and the Women's Humane Society started the first formal humane education program in the country, known as the Band of Mercy. She enlisted a group of young children who were taught to be humane to animals and treat them with kindness and respect. In 1909, the Women's Humane Society raised enough money to open a dispensary on Chadwick Street in Philadelphia where owners could bring their animals for medical attention. And by 1911, they erected 35 drinking fountains for horses and small animals throughout the city. Several still exist today, including the Annie L. Lowry Memorial Fountain at 3rd and Bainbridge Streets, inscribed with the words, Drink, gentle friends. So much of what Carolyn Earl White and her friends began over 150 years ago continues today through the Women's Humane Society's programs and services. The organization continues to operate as an animal shelter with an adoptions program that finds lifelong homes for animals throughout the area. Last year alone, the organization saved approximately 1,800 animals, placing them with rescues or in new homes. The Women's Humane Society offers educational programs to the community to this day. Last year, 4,600 young people were taught how to be safe, humane, and kind to animals. And Pen Pal and student service programs are constant reminders of the ongoing compassion education that Carolyn Earl White developed one and a half centuries ago. The Carolyn Earl White Veterinary Hospital not only treats animals that are received through our shelter, but offers affordable medical treatment for pet owners in our community. We offer physical rehabilitation for senior pets and animals with orthopedic needs. And in 2014 alone, we served the veterinary needs of 10,000 families. In an ongoing effort to fulfill the ideals of our founder, the Women's Humane Society continues to focus on the importance of spaying and neutering to reduce the homeless animal population. 20 years ago, the Women's Humane Society moved to their new home in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania, just outside the city of Philadelphia. Today, the organization continues the legacy of their founder to ensure the compassionate, ethical, and humane treatment of animals in communities throughout the region. Ensuring that animals are treated with kindness and respect is the responsibility of all of us. Together we can make a difference, just as Carolyn Earl White did so many years ago.